This is uh, Prince. He's an Ardennes stallion, brought in from. We brought him in from England, but his breeding originates from the French Belgian region of uh, called the Ardennes. Um, he's a stallion. He's fifteen three at the withers. And he's huge, isn't he? <laughs> he's, structurally, he's made huge. He's massive bone and, and legs, and he's very strong. He's fifteen inch bone. Um, as I said he weighs just over a ton weight, um, and he's capable of shifting timber um, of his own body weight. Yeah, and if you um, look at the different parts of him, I mean, look at the size of even his legs, they're just right. enormous. The cannon bone, this is the cannon bone here between the knee and the fetlock, that's 15 inches, and that's the way you measure the horse's bone from. And so no other draft horse really has that kind of bone. And then towards the, the back then, the, the back end is... Yeah, I mean, and he's huge hind quarters as well for the pushing that he's going to need to for doing all the, the extraction of the logs from the wood. His front quarters and his back quarters is where you really want to be looking when you're, when you're interested in a, buying a working horse. His front quarters do the pulling and carry the collar. Uh, this is the collar does all that. This is where all the, the power comes from, This for his front quarters here. And then his back quarters to do the pushing. So to, to keep the things in motion. To know. propelling it. Yeah. And the, the equipment he's got there on him, that is very traditional. I mean, that hasn't changed in, in centuries. No, it's traditional working harness. You have, we start with the head. You have, we're using a bridle. Uh, traditionally, all our people would use blinkers inside in the wood. We don't use the blinkers because you're working in such a close and restricted area. The horse has to be able to see around him without actually moving to see it. So we just like, prefer the open bridle and it makes him more happy in his workplace. You go back down to the collar, the collar and hames which it sits on the shoulder, which the, the collar acts as a pad for the hames, which the pulling chains are attached to. So the collar and hames is a very traditional piece of harness and it's never really changed. Going back along the traces then, or the chains are probably called the traces, they're hooked into a, a back band, or and some the, people the, call it a plough band, which basically just keeps the chains up from under the horse's feet. And we also, we have, we have little brass rings here that the reins will run through and it'll keep the reins from getting tangled up in in, in, in sticks and stuff uh, up and the world. traditionally the blacksmith would have then made all the, the, the metal parts the steel parts of this yeah all the steel parts the hooks here hooks here and the old fashioned hooks they were actually made by possibly the the, the blacksmith here in town Eamon Madden and uh, the, the leather work was all have been our own local harness maker whoever it would have been at the time you know Bye.